Oh, Alex. Hello everyone, thanks for watching today. I am going to do a tutorial on how to make address labels from Design Space. And I apologize in advance, I have my two year old right next to me, so if you hear her, <laughs> that is why. Um, we actually have like a big snowstorm today in the middle of April, which is crazy. So we're just kind of hanging out at the house today. Anyways, um, address labels. So first you want to go into images and find an image that you want. Um, I think this bird is pretty cute. Let's go with the bird. Oh, I actually did not know that it looked like that. Huh. I don't know why it looks like that. I'm going to choose something else. Oh, that's weird that it comes apart like that. I wonder why. Uh, let's go with this cute little hedgehog. Okay. So we are going to click the hedgehog and I'm actually going to change these to print instead of cut because I'm going to do all my address labels on my um, computer. So make sure all of these are changed to cut and let's make it a little bit smaller. And then you can add a shape. And of course, right in the left hand corner, you can make it smaller and change the width and the height all in one. And I'm going to bring it about here and put it towards the back. There we go. And I think I'm going to keep this at a white color. Perfect. And then, oh, that's super cute. I'm going to type my name. Um, I'm not going to type my real information. Uh, one, two, three. Sesame Street. Okay. So. You want to make sure that your text is small enough where it can fit into your box there, but it's not too small where you can't read it. Mm. That looks good. Oops. And then you can either um, change. Let's see. Let's see how this looks. Alignment to the center. There we go. I think that's cool. Um, so it, uh, depending on what labels you bought, whether you got, um, I think mine are Avery labels. I'm going to have to check the size for sure, but obviously you are going to have to um, make sure that your label fits on here. So right now it's five inches by one and a half, which is way too big, I know. I think they might be like, ooh, I don't know, one by, like one by three maybe? I'm going to have to measure it for sure. But anyways, you can do that. Make sure you can still read it when it cuts and stuff. Um, that still looks good to me. You might want to change the, change the font. You can play around with it to see. But this is a great idea um, and thing you can do for um, creating labels because labels are extremely expensive and it's kind of annoying to write on like your notebook or your um sorry your envelope all the time so this is an awesome idea so I'm gonna put the grid up here just so I know exactly what I'm measuring let's just go let's go three inches I think it's three so instead of copying and copying and pasting you're gonna wanna click right click and then click duplicate And make sure they're spaced out enough depending on how your Avery stickers or whatever brand you have prints. And you can just click multiple duplicates for your um, shipping labels depending on how far spaced apart that is. You're going to have to measure on your sheet. Um, but obviously make sure the grid is showing so you can see the grid lines and how far apart the inches are. Um, I mean, you can get pretty exact on here, which is cool. But, yeah, I think these turned out super cute, and I am excited to print them and use them. 
Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you're looking for any specific tutorials, please let me know. Thanks so much.